the children of Amy Robach and Andrew Shu spend time together following the T.J. Holmes drama. Time spent with family, the children of Amy Robach and Andrew Shu provided a glimpse of their sibling reconciliation despite their parents' separation. On Monday, June 12, Shu's son Wyatt, 19, posted a picture of Robach's daughter Annalise, 17, on Instagram. The reporter's eldest child returned the favor by posting an Instagram story photo of Wyatt dining at the same establishment, Robach, 50, and Tim McIntosh, whom she was married to from 1996 to 2008, share a daughter named Ava and a son named Annalise. Prior to their separation, the Michigan native and Shu, 56, were very outspoken about their blended family. In 2010, the two eventually got married. We have dinner together at least five evenings a week. We also spend time with each child individually. The relationship is actually altered by it. The actor, who has boys named Nate, Aiden, and Wyatt with his ex-wife Jennifer Hageney exclusively told Us Weekly in 2017 that it doesn't have to be expensive to be satisfying. The former employee of Melrose Place continued to commend Robach for raising strong-willed girls, telling us, I was like, oh, they're never going to fight, but they're feisty and I adore it. They constantly put me to the test. When I first met Ava, I recall that she challenged me to a race. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to go do girl things, for example. Having both viewpoints has been beneficial. The couple gained notoriety in November 2022 after Robach was photographed cuddling up to GMA3 Conquer TJ, homes outside of the studio. The 45-year-old native of Arkansas filed for divorce from Marilee Feebig, his wife of more than 10 years, a month later. Shu, on the other hand, deleted all references to his divorced wife from Instagram. Us later revealed that the couple had filed for divorce, and the Delaware native is still trying to avoid media attention. Despite the controversy, Shu's sons shared pictures of their special bonding times with their father and their step-siblings. Robach and Holmes were officially fired from ABC after an investigation into their connection, Us first reported earlier this year. The network released a statement regarding the twosome's departure a few weeks later. We all agreed it's best for everyone if Amy Robach and TJ Holmes leave ABC News after several fruitful discussions about the possibilities, the network said in a statement in January. We appreciate their contributions and recognize their talent and dedication over the years. Afterward, Shu's son Nate caused controversy when he appeared to disparage the GMA3 soap starring Robach and Holmes. In a gif, Jimmy Fallon is heard stating, soon after their departure from ABC made headlines, he said, let's just move on. On his Instagram story, a source exclusively revealed to us lately that Robach has attempted to maintain contact with her stepchildren. Every now and again, Amy interacts with Andrew's sons, the insider stated in April. She remains a part of her stepson's lives. They converse. She will be there for them and wants them to continue to think of her as their stepmother. She is still attempting to resolve the issue of seeing Andrew's children. Andrew is having emotional difficulty dealing with the fact that she wants a relationship with them after being their stepmom for such a long period. However, his boys continue to speak with and correspond with her. Despite being pronounced single in the middle of the court proceedings, the insider observed that Shu and Robach were still in mediation about any property and assets. The insider added, they've pitched a reality show, docuseries, and daytime talk show, all of which they know will be popular and people will watch.